Welcome to McCormick Systems training video, Building Fixtures and Feeders. McCormick is advanced in many ways, but when it comes to building temporary fixtures, feeders, or any other temporary assembly, we are unmatched. The process is quick and easy. Okay, we are gonna work in our job specific database. Simply hit the PJ tab, that is, will flip you between permanent and job specific. And you can either work on temporary items or temporary assemblies. We are gonna work on job specific assemblies. As you can see here, McCormick has already set up basic fixture, panel, and if I scroll down a little bit more, feeder temporary assemblies. These are basic names that we are able to change. Okay, if I review fixture A, you will see that it also has a byproduct of fixture A. This is an item that will show up in your material list to show you how many fixtures you have when you're done counting. Fixture B and C are the same way. Okay, let's go into the part where we name our fixtures. Let's go ahead and click on assembly so we close our side window. Now there's a couple ways to name the assembly. First way, we can click on Take Off Edit Enable. This will turn our window yellow and putting us into naming mode. The other way is to use Control Insert on your keyboard. That is a shortcut. So simply hold down Control, hit Insert, and that will turn your window yellow also. We're going to go ahead and use Take Off Edit Enabled and we'll start from there. When the window is in yellow highlight mode, we can now edit directly in the list. So we're going to name this first fixture A1. Hit enter and it will ask if you want to name the byproduct as well. Always hit yes. We always want the byproduct to match. We will name this second fixture A2. Again hit enter and yes to the byproduct. And last but not least we'll go with an A3. Now that you see how easy it is to name the actual assemblies, we're going to go ahead and build them. That is just as easy. Let's go ahead and get out of Take Off Edit Enable. And we are now ready to build our fixtures A1, A2, and A3. Again, to build, simply hit the Review button. This will open up your side window and we can now begin. Hit the Add Mode button and this will bring us into the ability to transfer in the assembly into fixture A1. I'm gonna slide this new transfer window over to the right so I can easily see what we are working with. Okay, we wanna make fixture A1 a two x four tropper, so go ahead and find that assembly in your menu, as I've done here. I'm gonna click on this two x four tropper three lamp and transfer it into the assembly. How many do you want? One and one, and we are done. We have now made fixture A1 a 2x4 tropper. Same process goes for fixture A2. Let's just click on that. We're going to go ahead and on our transfer window, click on the 1x4 parabolic. Transfer one of those in and we are done. All right, last but not least, we're going to build fixture A3. Let's make that a compact fluorescent. We'll just do a recess can and uh, we'll transfer in this large recessed can. I'll just do one of these and fixture A3 is complete. All right, let's close out some of these windows and add mode so we can start doing some takeoff. Click on the assembly database to close the side window. Now we can simply click on fixture A. One, I'll take out 45 of these. A2, let's do 25. And A3, let's take off 80. Notice how in McCormick we can take off on the fly. No reason to leave takeoff. Simply build and take off in the same screen. Finally, let's scroll down and build a quick feeder. So if I scroll down in my list, you will notice the feeder list. Naming the feeder is exactly the same. Let's just name this one feeder uh, we'll go from point A to point B. Go ahead and hit yes to the byproduct and we are ready to build. Remember again to get out of highlight or take off edit enabled mode before building. Let's again hit add mode and move our window to the right. All right, and then let's pick the part or parts that we want to transfer into feeder A to B. 
we're going to go ahead and just grab this uh, EMT steel set screw and we'll do uh, some number 400s and one number 3 in 3 inch EMT. That is it. Feeder A is complete. I can get out of add mode. Let's go ahead and take off 135 feet of feeder A to B. Now when I look down in my audit trail, I will know that I have completed feeder A to B. It's a great marking system. That is building fixtures, feeders, and panels. If you have any questions at all, please give McCormick Tech Support a call at 1-800-444-4890.